Hey, what's going on everyone? Just figured I'd do a quick little video here. This is a an LZ4 intake and an LZ9 intake. Just uh, thought I'd show you the differences. One here, this one here is the LZ4, which is the 3500 variable valve timing motors. And this one here is the, the LZ9 off the 3900 that I got from the Wreckers. You see there's some differences between them. This intake here is funny shape because it's a variable runner intake which basically this little solenoid on the back or motor here basically has a flap inside which changes which runners that the air flows through. So basically for the for your higher torque output in your 3.9 it'll be going through the smaller runners or the longer runners here then the motor flips when you get up to a certain RPM and starts letting the air go through the shorter runners or vice versa for uh, more power. And this one here this one here does not have any variable runners, it's all just a simple plain intake plenum here. It's uh, similar to the 3.5 uh, before they came out with the variable valve timing. I have one here to show you. This is the LX9 intake. So you can see there's the uh, some similarities here between the LX9 intake and the LZ4 intake. Uh, the LZ4 is much bigger and the ports do not line up. So you can't take an LZ4 intake and put it on an LZ9 or 3400. You can see the ports are much larger on the 3500 uh, variable valve timing motor, the LZ4. So this here is the electronic throttle body that these engines come with. We will not be using that because I don't have an electronic throttle in the car now. What I'll be using is this throttle body here. This is from a like a 5.3 liter LS truck engine which is still cable operated and it's a little bit bigger than what the 3.9 throttle body is now and to use that I'm going to be using something like this this is one of my adapters for the, the LZ9 uh, or the LX9 sorry intake manifold that I use uh, I've made these up myself I had a machine shop this one I made with the uh, hole saw uh, and then I had machine shop make these ones up for me basically the they just cut out the center just to it's a lot faster than me trying to cut them with the hole saw and drill press a little safer too so basically these will be going on here I'll just have to bore out the the opening there that way it will match up to the throttle body this is the throttle body here basically take uh, your throttle plate or your adapter plate here obviously that one needs opened up as well drill your holes like this one so they line up with the bolt pattern and then you drill your other holes these ones here onto the plates. I also countersink them like that so I can bolt over top of it so that everything's flush. And then uh, yeah so should be a good improvement here. Let's pull this one off real quick and I'll show you guys the difference. I believe that one's a uh, 75 millimeter and this one's 
should be around a 70 millimeter. Alright, I just pulled the, the LZ9 throttle body off here. I got beside the LS throttle body. Uh, basically, I'd show you the the actual size of it, but my uh, Vernier battery is dead and I don't have any spares on me right now. As you can see here, I'll just show you a quick little difference. Approximately, that's maybe about three or four millimeters bigger. I'll get an exact measurement once I get some batteries. So you can sort of uh, see the difference with the runners there. It kind of opens up. So you basically have your uh, your longer runners here for your more torque, and then you got your shorter runners for your top end power, which is I believe how they have them set up. Just pop this uh, door motor off the back here. This is the, the runner control flap that uh, basically just turns a certain way to allow the air to flow through either the longer runners or the shorter runners. It's fairly simple, just all computer controlled. Uh, the reason why I'm not attempting to use this as well is from what I've read online that this intake flow is not nearly as good as this one either. I'll probably lose a little bit of torque but I'm not really too worried. It's still going to be way more than 3400 to start with so I'm also going to be doing a little bit of porting on on these plenums as well, or on the plenum as well. This is a 3900 lower. I'm going to be doing some porting on that as well. Uh, Hopefully sooner than later. Just like to get this thing out in the next couple months. That's gonna be it uh, for this one. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Thanks.